Right, good morning, welcome back. Now, first of all, thank you so much to Eric and Tobias for those two wonderful tools. I thank you so much for that. It's very much appreciated. Tools are probably one of the biggest expenses I have next to the overheads of the premises to keep the videos rolling and keep the channel on the road. We're not commercial. We don't charge anybody for servicing repairs or custom work. It's all done purely on our own bikes for you to enjoy. So thank you so much for those kind gifts. They really, really do help. Now, you saw in the last video that I was able, with a little bit of practice, to weld in three occasions, a reasonably nice weld with stack tacks all the way around the stainless tubing and grind them back. And that with a test with a hammer, that's plenty strong enough. All I need to do is a little bit more practice, which I'll do along the way. It's not worthy of a video, but there, seriously, that was a great result and I'm very happy with that. Now look, what I also found out in the last video, to my good fortune, was that my original factory headers that I thought were rusted chrome are not. They're stainless steel and they're just filthy. So filthy that, I'm still not sure whether I'll get them up to a reasonable standard because if I'm gonna use these, which I really want to, then they ain't gonna wash like that. I don't know what it is that's on them. It could be ACF 50 over many years of being burnt in. I've no idea. It could just be road grime burnt on. I don't know, but it's gotta come off. So that's the first task. And if I can get them clean, well look, there's a two into one, already Siamese into a solid joint. All I've got to do is take the third pipe, which went out the other side of the bike, and graft that in and get all the angles right so it sits right on the bike. That is not a difficult task. That's quite easy indeed. So it all hinges whether I can get this up to a decent finish. If I can, then we're on. So that's it today. Maximus cleanage. Let's see how we get on. Here we go again.
Blimey, there we are. That's it. That was two hours just to do that little bit and most of it was already clean. So this is going to be a hell of a long job. It really is. I might not even get this done today, but it's great to have got that bit clean because that's the collector. I need that to have lots of integrity because I'm going to bring a third one in right on that. So I'm going to be welding on that metal and it's superb. There's a little tiny peppering to it very gently not much no more than you would have if it had been on the road a few years and it just gets pepper marks the ones you normally get on the front here over years but look a linishing mop will take that out beautifully leave a nice smooth satin finish fantastic i'm really happy with that and you can still see triumph motorcycles stamped in that so the corrosion it seems is on top not so much in the metal which means it will all come off but that two hours it just means it's a very very long job so this is chat and it won't get it done Let's get on with it. Superb, really happy with that. That's all clean now. This first part of the exercise is about cleaning, just getting that dirt, whatever it is, off. It's all in the tray there. There's about half an inch of sludge in the bottom of that, like thick mud. Goodness knows what it was, but it ain't there anymore. That's lovely. It's a slightly patchy finish. I don't think you're gonna get away with all that being stuck to that for 20 years and not leave a mark, and it has here and there. The sort of patchy texture to it is where the dirt has been. It's just etched itself in a very little bit, but not enough even to take out the Triumph motorcycle stamp. You know, it really hasn't done any damage. It's just etched the surface a little bit. And I think a soft polishing disc on that at the end will give it a lovely uniform all over coat and it will look absolutely fantastic finish. I'm really looking forward to this. So that's the two into one bit done. So you could say that's two thirds of the work. That was two and a half hours to get that bit done. So four and a half invested so far. One more to do. Let's get stuck in. Right, there we are, five hours in total, and they're done. Now that's them clean. They're still patchy, but I reckon all they need is a skid over with a polishing disc, and they're gonna look absolutely fantastic. But I can't do anything until I can clean up this insane mess. Let's get the bench all wiped down, get all this stuff out of the way, and let's find out, shall we?
This is a position I didn't expect to be in, and that is standing next to a fully restored header pipe system. And I've gone to all the trouble of working out that yes, I can weld this one into these two and make a three into one, and I can put a little tracker silencer. But actually, before I do that, before I do that, with that looking so good, with that coming up factory standard, instead what I could do is leave them alone, use them as they are, and put two tracker silencers on it, one either side which would be very cool. Don't often see that. I can get the silencers, the little reverse cone mega silencers like I've got on the Hayabusa. We all know they sound insane. So two of those on this, on the standard headers, would be fabulous. It wouldn't be as adventurous as making a three into one. So in that sense, I'm gonna make a decision between now and the next video, which way I go. Whether I continue marching forward, make this into a three into one, whether I leave them and fit two silencers instead, and then move on to the rest of the bike, because there's so much more to do. It's gonna be a long project anyway. So I don't know, we shall see. One more thing, this. If you're gonna use this to clean your stainless steel, wash it off because it will continue to act on it. It's a very caustic substance and it will continue to burn into it. Don't let it dry on because it will never come off. Don't use it on aluminium that's anodized because it will wash the anodizing off. Don't use it on mild steel because it will rust it before your eyes. That's quite spectacular. And don't use it on chrome because it will just burn it off. Only on stainless steel and on reasonably good quality stainless steel as well, it will bring it up like that, as you saw. And it's a pound in the supermarket. So there we are. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Ride safe, and I'll see you next time with a decision on what we're going to do with these.